on social media. I'm Karen Tracy. Today we are going to do a 30 minute hit style workout. Okay, that's going to be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest between sets. I'm calling this one Deuce Couplets. We already did a Deuce Couplet workout for core only. Now we're doing a Deuce Couplet workout for the entire body. All right, mostly extremities, legs, biceps, tries, shoulders. Okay, you will need a chair today and a as many dumbbells as you can muster together, okay? We're gonna do light weights, heavy weights. If you got a kettlebell, that would be cool too. Um, anything heavy for those low things. What a deuce couplet is, is we're gonna do two exercises and then repeat those two exercises before we move on to the next two. That's it. We're gonna go for 30 minutes. That means there's gonna be like 15 um, different exercises. Level, level, all the way down. We're going to start off <clears throat> with our warm up stretch, the bend and press, like we, we do several times, especially in the morning workouts. I like to use that one as our, our morning stretch. So, grab, you know, you can grab two medium or heavy, medium to light weights, whatever you've got going on. I'm going to turn the timer on. Once I turn it on, we don't stop. Ready? And here we go. So, reach for the floor, reach for the sky. Make sure you bring those weights all the way up your body, okay? As you go down, keep your chin up, get your eyeballs up. You only need to go as low as your back, your straight back allows you to go, okay? All the way to the floor, all the way to the top. You just came on, this is our first exercise, it's our warm up. Get going, come on, let's do this. Keep your um, sound out, your volume off, keep your view, speaker view. All right, you'll think this one's gonna be a lot easier than yesterday's. If you were on yesterday's, boy, that was a toughie. Okay, get the heaviest weight you have. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a kettlebell. Oh, I got a 25 pound kettlebell right here. You can use a dumbbell. But I noticed some people have kettlebells. We're gonna do a sumo squat. There you go. Sumo squat all the way down. Chin up high. When you do a sumo squat, the weight goes down right below your crotch, okay? It's going right down the middle. You're not really sticking your fanny out, you're sticking your knees out sideways, okay? So your body is very upright. I'll show you the side view. I'm gonna straddle my, my um, mat. See how I'm not really putting my bottom back too much. I'm just going right underneath. When I go down, my knees are over the middle of my foot. That's how wide I am. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our bend and stretch. Remember what I said, we're gonna do everything twice. Every two exercises twice. Put your feet together, toes forward, hands in front of your thighs. Bend all the way down, up your body. Let's go. All the way down. My music has stopped. I don't know what's wrong. It's okay. Bend and stretch. There you go. 20 seconds to go. This should get you all warmed up because whenever you raise your heart up and down, that gets your heartbeat pumping. And anytime you put your hands over your heart, you're working your heart more than if you didn't, okay? You're still working it if you don't go up, but you're working it more when you go over. Grab that heavy, heavy weight, okay? If you don't have a heavy weight, you can grab two small ones and hold them right there below, underneath you, or you can hold your animal, <laughs> okay? Or you can hold your kid. You can hold like the um, KitchenAid, kitchen mixer if you want, okay? You just want a middle heavy weight down the middle of your body. These are called sumo squats. Every exercise does have a name. And if it's something that you make up, you can put a name to it based on the movement, what you're holding, and the body parts it's working. I should have a whole class just on naming workouts. <laughs> because it is 
quite a science. It's quite interesting too, and it's fun. All right, that was two. Going on to the third exercise, pendulum squats. I want you to get two dumbbells. Hold them right here at your collarbone. collarbone. You're gonna squat down, not touching elbows, and then come up, one leg out. Squat, other leg out. All right, we're gonna do this twice. So challenge yourself, get a heavy weight if you can. Well, I shouldn't say heavy. One of your heavier light weights, if that makes sense. Okay, don't get your twos or threes. Get your fives or sevens or eights even. As you go down, chin up. We're only doing a small squat. You're not bringing your elbows to your knees on this one, okay? Just a little squat, down the middle, leg up on the side. Three, two, one, okay. Okay, now this one is gonna be a two-way bicep curl. Hammer out, curl up, okay? Hammer up, curl out. Ready, let's do it. So the first exercise of this set is all legs, heart, shoulders. The second one is biceps. Has nothing to do with the first one. So you wanna go hammer up close to your body, down, twist, all the way up. Hammer up, down, twist, all the way up. You guys did good. Twist up, hammer. And when you hammer, get that butt end up. This is the butt end right here. I want to see that up in front. Okay, out, hammer up. Okay, keep those pinkies up. All right, good. All right, put your, get ready for our next pendulum squat. You can use the same weights, unless you went real heavy on those biceps. Get your like fives, sevens, eights right now. We're going to do our pendulum squats again. Woo, ready? Go, squat down, up. Whoops, I forgot to press. Up. <laughs> See, even I do this sometimes. Up. Make sure when you put that leg out that your toe is facing forward and your ankle is cocked in a 90 degree angle. Okay, pull that toe towards you. That's it. Oops, hit the chair. <clears throat> That's it. Keep going. You guys are doing awesome. 12 seconds. This one's tough. It's supposed to be tough. If it was easy, everyone would be doing it. And they're not. Woo! All right, bicep curls. Two way bicep curls. Okay. Next is triceps. Okay, you're gonna feel that one good because I'll make four sets of triceps. Three, two, one. Hammer up, curl up. Hammer up, curl up. There you go, keep it going. Hammer, curl, hammer, curl. <laughs> keep pulling all the way up, all the way. Make a difference between that hammer, that's in front. Curls on the side. There you go. It's gonna be hard. You gotta do this. This is good for you. The hammer works the head of the bicep. The curl on the wide part works the inner bicep muscle. It gives you a nice line of definition in here. Okay. Woo! Kickbacks, go ahead and grab two. Um, you can use those two fives again or something lighter. You can keep your hands up by your chest, bend over 90 degrees, and come back all the way. <clears throat> palms are up. All the way, palms are up. I'm going to keep my head down, looking at the floor. That's going to keep my neck in a neutral position, okay? You want to think of like chicken wings on this one, okay? Your arms are tall. <clears throat> Okay, Nikki, get your elbows up, elbows up, up here, and then straight up on top. When you come back to your chest, people, you don't swing it. You're here and you're here. You're here and you're here. You never swing your arms when you're doing lifting. 
okay? Unless I say so. <laughs> but most of the time you don't. <laughs> All right, the next one. If you've been a cheerleader when you were younger, okay, try to think back. We did this thing where we put our hands behind our head and went, go team. Okay, I call those cheers. So you're gonna touch your traps and then a big V overhead. The entire time your elbows stay in that V position. Okay, when my hands come behind my head, I feel like I'm shouting. When my hands come behind my head, I kind of drop my head a little bit because I don't want to hit it. Okay, I don't, want, I don't need any sense knocked into me, all right? So big cheer down. And that elbow up position is also going to keep that intensity on your triceps. Now, those of you that tell me I don't like my wiggle arms, this is for you. Okay, this is for you. Keep those arms up. Go team. I used to tell, I've always told my clients, I call these cheers. And I'll tell you, they never forget this exercise. And when you're done, you drop your elbows down. Remember what I said about just dropping your weights, you know, just drop your weights from the top. You always bring them towards your body and bring them down. Okay, we're gonna do kickbacks again. Three, two, one. I'll go this way this time. Here you go, palms up and back. Eyes are looking down, I'm kind of watching you, but uh, keep your eyes down. You look good. That's it, bring it to the side of your chest. You should feel your fingers on the side of your breast when you come in, okay? You should feel that. Palms up, and when they're back, it's okay if they flare out a little bit. That's all right, that's a natural movement for you, okay? It's not normal to be straight, straight back. You can be flared out, like you're flying to the sky in your Wonder Woman outfit. <laughs> all right, swing it, pull it up, all the way up, touch it to that spot, and come back. That's it. Okay. Feeling the tries. <laughs> back to our cheers. Let them sit on your traps. That's how far back I want them to go. They should be able to touch your traps, and then a big high V. Okay? Keep those elbows up. That's it. All the way up. Everyone looks great right now. If I call you out, it's just because I'm sending you some love. Want to make sure you're getting the best out of this. Now, if I was spotting a client, I would stand behind them and hold their elbows. I would hold them on their arm portion and make sure that they just stay there as they move up and back. So sometimes it helps if you know where I would be spotting you. Keep that area still. That is your lower, your higher arm is what I would be holding. Eight seconds to go. Keep moving. Keep that chin down. Okay, remember now, drop it down. Do it right. Okay. Cheers. Three weight squats. Grab two of your heaviest weights you've got. Two of your heaviest weights. We're going to do three way squats. Squat in the middle to the right. We've done this hundreds of times. Everyone, as long as you go past your knees on each squat, you're doing good. You don't need to go lower than that. Okay, I'd rather see you move. Keep your weight parallel with the floor. Okay, keep it level. Chin up when you're down. Step and step. I'm squatting down the middle each time. I'm not leaning to the left or right. I'm squatting smack into the middle. It's just a close squat and a wide squat. That's all it is. <clears throat> okay, our next one is shoulders. Now I like pairing legs with shoulders because they're opposites. Grab two of your lighter weights. Fives are perfect. You can go up and down. Up and down. Okay? Now, when you're doing this, look at my hands. My, uh, my wrist leads the way, okay? You don't want to pull your fingertips up. You want to keep your fingertips down, okay? Up in front, out to the side. Just like that. Tap your legs and bring it up. <laughs> you guys are great. It should be coming up to your shoulder height or your neck height at the highest. Doesn't that feel great? 13 seconds to go. After this, we're going back to those three-way squats. 
Today's workout is mostly weightlifting, which is very important. Now, when you lift weights, three, two, one, your body will continue burning and repairing and building for two hours afterwards. It's much more efficient to the muscles in your body rather than the cardio portion of you. Squat, step. <clears throat> so lifting weights is extremely good. Also, when you lift weights, most of my women clients are concerned you're gonna look all buffed. Well, you have to lift up quite a lot. The more I lift, the smaller I get because it makes all the fat burn off around my muscles. And that's why you see muscles, okay? Because the fat goes away. We all have a layer of fat. But when you lift more, in addition to adding cardio to your workouts, that fat is gonna burn off. It's gonna make you smaller and denser. So when someone grabs your arm, they're not grabbing a big handful of mush. They're grabbing something firm, and that's what you want. Okay, forward and lateral raise, alternating. Last one of this set. <clears throat> All right, here we go. Keep it going. Yeah, so lifting weights is only gonna make you more shapely, leaner, gonna have that athletic looking body, more than just the I'm getting older body. All right, I struggle. I tell you, I work out every day, but I struggle because I'm gonna be 60 this year. Okay, now that I told you, you all cannot go anywhere. <laughs> no, it's okay, it's no secret. All right, it's no secret. You can be firm and fit well into your 80s. You should see my 83-year-old dad. He still has muscles popping out of his body. <clears throat> he used to be a competitor though. Okay, go ahead and grab your two heavy, heavy, heavy weights. I'm going to grab my 25-pound kettlebell. We're going to do deadlifts. You all like deadlifts. This is what actually you said was easiest yesterday. Come down to your feet, stand nice and tall. Okay, keep your chin up. Nice and tall. And these are straight leg deadlifts. Okay, I really want to focus on the back of your legs on this one. Your bottom should poke out behind you. Your legs will bend slightly and a natural bend. This is a lot easier than those jumping around ones, isn't it? But I tell you, it's just as effective. The hip workouts where you're jumping around doing plyometrics in between is great for fat building. This one is good for muscle building. Okay, grab one. Medium to medium to heavy, actually. You're gonna do a straight arm between your shins and straight up overhead, okay? The left arm is just hanging out, but whatever arm you're not using is not touching yourself. Okay, I don't want you laying in on your rip, your waist or something. Just kind of this to the side. This straight arm, pull. The squat is gonna give you a little bit of momentum. Okay, the straight arm is gonna work the actual very, very top of your shoulder and that one half of your back. When we do the next set, we'll do the other arm, and that will work the other half of your back. But this gives you a nice, strong back all the way up, okay? Keep that chin up when you're down. And you can speed it up, but no swinging. It must go right smack between your body at your shin level, and then straight up overhead. We're going back to our deadlifts. Okay, grab your heavy weights, two heavy weights, or one big, big, big one. <laughs> okay, legs are shoulder width apart, toes forward, poke your fanny back, stand up tall. When you, if you keep your eyeballs up, it helps to push your bottom back. Okay, that's a big help. Okay, and if you actually touch the ground, that's okay. It's not necessary though. All, the, the most you really need to go if you were that bendable would be to your ankles. You want your back to be flat on the back. Because we really want to work the back of our, our hamstrings all the way up into the bottom of our glutes where you sit. 
Okay, that's all we're working right now. And you just hold the weight. Don't do a sugar top. Okay. Now we're gonna do the left arm or the other arm, straight leg, straight arm raises. You're gonna go back down to your shin, to the top. Okay, place it, stand it up tall. When it's up tall, as you snap over your head, fingers facing forward. Keep the weight in the same position as it is in the bottom, as it is on the top, okay? Don't be twisting it around. This is not fancy, okay? We don't do anything fancy. No more fancy nancies. Okay. Keep going. That's doing good. All right. Our next exercise is going to be seated. Okay. We're going to do a seated exercises with the plyometric. Our first plyometric of the day. So grab some medium weights. Bring it in. Grab some medium light if you're new to this. I'm going to grab my eights over here. Whoops, sorry. Have a seat. Going to do Arnold's. Put it close to your body. Open it up. Press the top. Down. Open it up. Press the top. Okay, so when they're in front of my body, the weight's in front of my collarbone. Fingers facing me, fingers facing out. Touching on top, back to start. Open the gate, press to an A, down to start. There you go. You can stand if you want. If you don't have a chair, you don't have to sit. But you can go heavier. That's why I grabbed my heavier weights I wasn't using before. Because I want to get a nice press over my head with a heavy weight. Okay, because this is the only weighted exercises we're doing in this one set. Press and down. Leave your weights right there. Our next one is going to be plyometric. We're going to jump around. Out, out, in, in, okay? I've done this before. Be energetic. Ready? In. Let your upper body wiggle. Wiggle that jiggle we just talked about. Woo! Out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. There you go. Like Kathy's doing, if you can't jump, Arms up, touch your toes if you cannot jump around. All right? If you can't jump, improvise. Know what your body can do. I don't know you. I may know many of you, but I don't know you. I don't know what you can do. So you have to kind of be smart. Don't hurt yourself. It's not worth it. It's not worth hurting yourself. Okay? Just move. I don't care if you want to dance right now. You guys can dance. Okay? Sometimes I just do that. I go, Bruno Mars comes on and everything stops around here. You know, it turns into a dancing party. Okay, we're gonna do our Arnold's again. Open it up, press to top, back to start. Let's go. When your hands come to your collarbone, that's when you'll exhale. If you're one of those breathing people, Inhale when your arms are up. Let them go when you're down, you're down. Inhale up. Exhale down. 20 seconds to go. Come on, let's keep moving. We want to have a, a heavy enough weight where we're challenged, but light enough that we can keep moving and not have to stop. That's what a hit's all about. It's not about lifting your max weight right here, okay? This is not about max. Three, two, and one. Put those weights down. And then go ahead and we're going to do our out, out, in, in again. Toe taps, whatever you got going on. We only have two more sets after this. This is our 23rd minute. You guys are doing great. In, in, let's go. Wiggle, wiggle, jiggle, jiggle. That's it, let's go. That out, out, let's work your inner thighs. Okay? The arms moving. Feel it. Feel that. You feel good. Feel everything moving in your body. The only thing still is your head. Keep moving. Pat, 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 pat. 
Seven seconds to go. All right. Our, our second time seated. It's going to be a seated French press. I want you to grab the heaviest weight you've got. On a seated French press, you're going to work your triceps. You're going to grab the weight from the base, pull it up overhead, sit tall, drop it behind you, and press it up with a soft grip. Okay? You want to have that soft grip so you can really flex those wrists when you squeeze at the top. Okay? You can go heavy on this. I usually do 20s when I do a French press. Keep your elbows pointing to the sky. You're only dropping it behind you. I'm going to face you for a little bit. Look at how my elbows are straight. They're not out here, okay? Keep them close to your head as you press up. All right? Sit up tall. This is named after the coffee French press. That up and down movement replicates the coffee French press. Now when you're done, pull it forward, drop it on your chest, and roll it down. Remember, getting out of this is just as important as doing it. Okay. Oh, our next one, we're gonna keep that heavy weight. You're gonna, you're gonna stand, sit, lift your feet off the ground. Okay? I have the weight sitting on my thumbs. That's how I'm doing it. You can do it however you like. Hold the weight in front of your body. Lift your feet off the ground and stand. That's it. That lift of your feet is working your lower gut. Everything below the belly button, okay? Anytime your knees come up, you're engaging that pooch, okay? That dreaded word we don't want to hear unless we have a little puppy nearby. So keep those knees up, stand. And I want you to go ahead, even rock on this one, to keep it moving. Okay, we're gonna go back to our French press, so keep that same heavy weight, okay? Keep it up, on your thumb, soft grip, fingers are open, drop it behind your head, press straight up. All right, this is weightlifting, people. This, it is just like bodybuilding, okay? If we were doing weightlifting, bodybuilding, or if I was getting you ready for a show, you wouldn't be doing it this way, you're probably getting a little heavier weight. I have to spot you, but you're getting the idea. Lifting weights is just shaping your muscles, getting rid of that fat, and helping it burn longer during the day. Press it up. We're gonna do one more of our sit stands, and then we only have two minutes left. This is the 27. All the way up, lay it on your chest and roll it down. Good job. Okay, hold it by your chest. We're gonna stand and sit. Move those weights away. Okay, ready? Four, three, two, let's do it. Up, sit, lay, raise, up. Get a little momentum going, okay? See if you can kind of in your head, keep a steady count. That way you don't stop and stall. Here we don't want to stop and stall. You know, every Friday I put out a healthy email. So if you go to my uh, website, which is just my name, tracygaker.com, on the very bottom, you know the very bottom when it has like all the credits and stuff? It says healthy email. Click on that, subscribe, and you will, it comes from me, there's no source. And you can get my healthy email every Friday morning, 8 o'clock Pacific time. Okay? Woo! All right. Okay, now I'm going to keep that heavy weight. We have two minutes left. We're going to do the next two sets, one time only. We're going to start with our first core exercise on your hip and twist. Okay? We're going to continue with that heart beating motion. Your feet are skipping. The weight comes to the side of the forward foot. I'll show you the side view. That's it. Swing your arms. This is your swinging one. All those of you that love to swing your arms, just swing it as far back as you can. As far as good. Make sure it comes to the side of your hips. Okay? This is core. The only core move so far we've done. The specific core. 
okay? And your heart. Okay, so this ends our 29th minute. 15 seconds, one more exercise. What do you think, huh? Burpees? <laughs> Burpees? Yep, that's how we're gonna end these kind of workouts, because we didn't jump around enough. Everybody, burpees, one set. Go down, back, up, party on the top. Let's do it. If you've been watching my workouts, you know this is a great way to end a great workout. And I think today's was very doable. Good on the muscles, easy on the lungs. 16, 12 seconds. Seven seconds. Three, two, one. High fives, everybody. You did great. Okay, so you're muted. Goodbye. Tomorrow. Thank you, Trace. You kicked my butt. Oh, good. <laughs> I love butt kicking. Tomorrow and Friday is going to be free, okay? What's Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a great day. Stay safe. Bye. Okay? You too. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.